Mastering evening chores. Let's wipe down countertops. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on conversational English focusing on daily routines and habits. Today, we're delving into a key part of many people's evening routines, household chores and responsibilities. More specifically, we're going to learn English phrases and sentences that you can use while talking about cleaning and organizing, especially when it comes to wiping down countertops. So let's get started. First things first, let's understand what wiping down countertops means. Wiping down refers to cleaning a surface using a cloth or a wipe. Countertops are the flat surfaces found in your kitchen, bathroom, or any work area. So when we say wiping down countertops, we are talking about cleaning these surfaces. Common phrases that you might use or hear include I need to wipe down the countertops after cooking. The countertops are dirty. Can you help me wipe them down? Let's look at some related vocabulary. Here are some words that you might use when discussing this chore. Wipe. To clean or dry by rubbing a surface with a cloth, a piece of paper, or one's hand. Dirt. Substances like dust or mud that make something unclean. Soap, a substance used for washing or cleaning, mixed with water. Sponge, a porous device used for cleaning surfaces. Sanitize, to make something free from dirt, germs, etc. Here are a few sentences you could use with these words. I need to get a sponge to wipe off the dirt from the countertop. Let's use some soap and water to clean the countertop. I want to sanitize the kitchen countertops before I start cooking. Now let's practice constructing some sentences. When you talk about wiping down countertops, you might want to say, 1. After preparing food, I always wipe down the countertops to keep the kitchen clean. 2. Could you wipe down the bathroom countertop? It's a bit messy. Three. I prefer using disinfecting wipes to sanitize the countertops. 4. I spilled some juice, so I had to wipe the countertop clean. Remember, the more you practice, the more natural these sentences will feel. That wraps up our quick lesson on wiping down countertops. This is a small but crucial part of your daily cleaning routine. And now you're equipped with the right phrases to discuss this task in English. Keep practicing these sentences and new vocabulary, and you'll be more comfortable with conversational English in no time. Stay tuned for our next lesson where we'll continue exploring household chores and responsibilities. Happy learning, and remember, practice makes perfect.